Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Ex Anima. And in this Let's Learn episode, I'm going to be going over Lesson 4 of my Ex Anima tutorial. And uh, this topic is going to be all about parrying. So parrying is, um, is interesting in this game. Uh, there is no block button. If you're not attacking, you're basically going to be defending. So the way, the way I like to say it, or way, the way I like to think it, is um, I'm either in attacking or defending mode. So if I'm holding down left click to do wild swings like I'm doing right now, then if he attacks me, my character is not going to see, I just took a nice big hit there. My character is not going to try to defend himself at all. I'm just going to like, let's sw swing over in this area. Let's see if he gets a hit on me on the, on the left side. Come on, dude. There you go. So I'm not even going to attempt to parry at all. As soon as I take my finger off of the left click, um, I'm going to be in defensive mode, which means that no matter what happens, my character is going to attempt to parry the strike. Now, there is a tooltip that says something about putting your cursor to where the, the enemy is going to attack to be able to parry. But the way I like to think of it is you, you're going to want to obviously not be attacking. And secondly, you need to turn your character ever so slightly towards the swing. Because as you saw, I just took another hit there. Uh, it is possible that even if you do everything right, even if you're not attacking, uh, if you're you know if you're kind of facing the location of the swing, there's still a chance for them to slip by your guard and get a hit on you. The other thing to keep in mind is it is extremely easy for your your weapon to get uh, tangled up in your opponent. So if if your weapon's tangled. Uh, and it's on the wrong side, your character is still going to attempt to parry, but it's not going to be able to be able to get there in time. I'm seeing if I can get an example of that without dying here. If you get too close, or let's say you do like a big swing, and see see how my weapon was tangled there for just a second? Uh, if he would have attacked me right there, I would have no chance to parry. So make sure to keep your distance and uh, make it so that um, make it so that you'll be able to parry when you need to. So let's go ahead and start another game real quick. I'll continue to show you. Alright, so here's another fight. So this guy also has a pole hammer. So I'm going to just be parrying his attacks as, 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 as best I can. We're getting a little close, so you got to be very careful about your, about your weapon getting tangled in your opponent. And that normally happens when you strike maybe too, too closely. So the other thing to keep in mind is that... With some abilities, you have the ability to go into a um, into a defensive mode faster. I think it's called either parry. I'll, I'll go over it in the in the skill section. So, which, or I think it's called feint. We'll see. Um, when you strike, like I said, you go into you go kind of into like combat mode, right? Do a strike, and if he if he were to attack me and I were to have missed then he could have done a pretty good amount of damage to me. What you want to do is, if you're in a position where you're like, oh man, I'm really going to get hit and I just started my attack, you just let go of the left click before you complete your swing, and you'll go right back into a guarding position. So I'm going to feint, and then back to parrying, and I failed twice. So you can see, even when you know what you're doing, if you don't really completely face the direction of your opponent, then you're not going to parry at all. There's also, um, there's also an ability for you to be too far from your opponent, too. So sometimes the parry, you'll notice that there's a little animation every time he parries, he attempts to parry. If you're too far and he is somehow aiming higher than your guard, he can still hit you. So just like the critical, critical range with, when you're attacking, there's also a critical parrying range, too. So if you're too far, it's best to dash backwards and just avoid the hit altogether. Then, then try to parry. All right, let's go to finish this guy off, and I'll show you what happens when I try to parry. So right there, my weapon was tangled up, so I couldn't, I couldn't parry in time. I let go of the uh, attack button there, and I was able to get the parry in after an attack. Hit him in the back of the head with what I call a reach around. There's another one. You can see that I'm turning my character rather than relying on the cursor. You just want to turn your character every so slightly into the swing 
so that you parry your opponent's attack. And there he goes down with another hit to his shoulder. I do my practice overhead. <laughs> that the the pole hammer is really hard to hit with the overhead, so I got to practice. So there you go. That's parrying. So parrying is all about you know letting your finger off of the left click and um, facing directly into the into the attack. You got to turn ever so slightly. Uh, if you if someone's doing a thrust or an overhead, you got to be looking straight at them to be able to parry those. All right. Uh, the other thing is, don't let your weapon get grappled because you won't be able to parry. Uh, this is very, this is mostly done when you're fighting someone with a shield. So if you do a really big right swing and he blocks with his shield and his shield is still like kind of all the way up the shaft of your of your weapon, he has a, a full opening to be able to just swing into your unguarded belly. So keep that in mind if you're too close, if you're too far as well, uh, there is the ability of the parry animation not being high enough to, uh, to parry an attack, so you're better off just dodging backwards or dodging or sidestepping left and right. All right, folks, so this is Johnny O Knows. I've been playing X Anima. If you have any questions about this game or the topic that was just brought up, please go in and leave your questions in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, which is going to be all about momentum.